Question number seven, Nikki Kay. Mr Speaker, to the Minister of Transport, what steps is the government taking to improve Auckland transport planning and delivery? The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, yesterday I confirmed as part of the Auckland governance reforms the establishment of a new Auckland transport agency to focus on delivering transport projects and services across Auckland. The single Auckland Transport Agency will replace the nine separate entities that currently govern Auckland Transport and will be responsible for all local authority transport delivery functions in Auckland, including local roads and public transport. The new agency will be responsible for an annual budget in excess of $1 billion. Nikki Kay. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Supplementary question to the Minister. How will the new Auckland Transport Agency improve transport for the people of Auckland? Honourable Stephen Joyce. Um, Mr Speaker, rolling the multiple current entities into one transport agency will provide focus and continuity in decision-making required to deliver a transport network that supports Auckland's growth and economic success into the future. The Auckland Transport Agency and the new Auckland Council will work closely on urban and transport planning meaning they will identify areas of population growth in the city and design improvements to transport infrastructure to support these growth areas in an integrated way. Thank you, Mr Nikki Speaker. Kay. Supplementary question to the Minister. How will the new Auckland Transport Agency be structured? The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, it will be structured as a quality delivery agency overseen by the new Auckland Council. Uh, the, Auckland, I didn't, the Auckland Council will set the strategic direction, appoint the board, which will include up to two councillors, provide planning and guidance and determine the levels of regionally sourced funding. The new agency will undertake sequencing of projects, tendering and procurement of operational decisions. It will work closely with and be partly modelled on the New Zealand Transport Agency and that operates at a national level. The Honourable Darren Hughes. Mr Speaker, why on earth do we need a new agency in Auckland, given that he's so brilliant that the last uh, plan for Auckland, which would have delivered rail track electrification, electric rail cars and rolling stock, integrated ticketing and uh, the very important Penlink Road, was all discarded by the Minister, even though they were all costed, they were all funded and now, thanks to him, all those projects are delayed. That's his brilliance at work. Uh, Mr Speaker, I think the member, if he looks, will find that all those projects are going ahead. And it is, of course, possible and indeed perhaps necessary in, this, in, in, in the role of government to do more than one thing at once, and that includes developing the projects and also organising the governance. The important thing for the member to understand is that going forward we need to have a strong integrated process between the council and transport. It's not enough for local body people in Auckland to simply announce they want a project here and a project there without any consideration of the overall plan to develop the big city. Jeanette Fitzsimons. To the Minister. Order I've, order I've called. Order, order, order. I say to members on both front benches, please, uh, I've called Jeanette Fitzsimons. Jeanette Fitzsimons. To the Minister. Are there any Auckland motorway projects where he has announced that they must keep within their initial budget allocation, even if that means that they cannot be completed? And if not, why has he imposed that condition on Auckland's rail electrification and the rail cars to run on it? The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Um, Mr Speaker, absolutely we expect uh, motorway projects in Auckland to come in within budget. And in fact, we have taken the step of halving the amount to be spent on the Waterview connection to ensure value for money it goes for all transport projects.